contest. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. If you support fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter. Only the professional record of 23 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, presenting the challenger, John Bones Jones! And now, introducing the champion, this man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Assassin. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. Ready? I'm very excited. Yeah. All right, here we go. UFC Middleweight Championship fight. This should be good. One, two there by Jones. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Damaging strike there. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Battle for position here. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Johnny Bone. Yeah, and he's got double underhooks here. Big power shot there. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. He's got double underhooks, Joe. Neither the body but the chin. Well, back to his feet here, Joe, but look at him. He is hurting for certain. That man is in a world of trouble. Just missed with the left there. Whoa, head kick. Nice slip to avoid the left. Lands a punch. These guys are swinging. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Jones. Oh, multiple strikes landing here. He has certainly found the range here in this round. Connects there with the punch. And he's looking for that left. And there he swung with a haymaker. Looked like he flipped him with a left hand counter there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Looking to avoid that left hand. That one hurt. Slightly deflected. Oh, working well off of that jab. 
Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. Nice defense there, huge block. And there's a single attempt. Oh, clipped him with the jab. Good shots by the champion. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Round one winding down here. Nice jab. Battle for hooks. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so the round is over. There is the horn, but not before he got a huge knockdown. A great round from John Jones. Huge knockdown. It was probably the most important aspect of that round and most likely won the round. Let's see if we can get a better look at that from this angle. Let's see it one more time. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Here we are, early round two. Jones gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Another shot lands upstairs. Flips the punch. That's Ooh, a big strong uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Went for the head kick. Hard straight punch. Nice leg kick. He hurt him with that hook. Jones's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Now they're in a clinch. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Double underhooks in the clinch. Nice knee to the body there by Jones. Oh! The champ is in. A little bit uneventful. One underhook here. Switching stances here. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Faints with the kick. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh! Kicked him in the face! He's got him right here. He didn't miss with that uppercut! Oh, he might be out! Oh, straight right! Oh! There's the kick. 45 seconds remain in the round. There's a nice exchange. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, he got cracked. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Final seconds here of round two. And that's the end of round number two. So the horn sounds after that round. Big knockdown in that frame. Great round from John Jones. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. Let's take a look at that again. And let's go to a different angle.
The original Ariane Celeste, good to have her in the building as usual. Tonight, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. There's that side kick. Strike to the body, really strong. Wow. Can he hang on? Wow. So he holds on to him here, Joe, not doing too much, just looking to recover. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Jones. 20 seconds left. Nice. Oh! oh. Let's see some of the action here. And here's another devastating shot to the head that really does damage. And here's another shot to the head that really stuns. Incredible round with several moments where it looked like it might be over. Ariane Celeste on hand as usual. Shin 
to the dome. Slips to avoid that left, Joe. Nice leg kick there by Jones. Good inside leg kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh! Wow! That hurt him. Rocked him with that right hand. A huge barrage of strikes, he kept coming and finally landed one big bomb for the knockout. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there, Joe. Landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Check out this angle here. Boom! Out cold. And there is the undisputed king of the 185 pounders, the UFC middleweight champion of the world. And how about the knockout to get the job done tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout. And new UFC middleweight champion of the world, John Jones! So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see. New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division, and it is going to take a big performance to dethrone the new champion of this weight class.